Go check it out. Thanks, Chilla. Mm-hmm. Dutters, you're the next one on the switcher in the lineup. Hi, hey. I'm Dutters. <laughs> um, I have uh, Jewel Box. Um, it's at currently Kickstarter. They're $79,000, which is pretty fantastic. Nice. Uh, what they are are friendship bracelets that teach girls to code. They're these little doodad bracelets, and it's a little uh, flower design, it looks like, on it. And um, whenever you get close to another um, a friend that has one, you can program it to light up. And you can send messages back and forth. It'll vibrate. Um, you could, it's essentially a secret code. You could set up between friends. But what I really think is cool, because you know everything about drones, um, you can go in and code this however you want. And uh, to get notifications for certain things, weather updates, notify your parents, and fly a drone. If you look on the website, it is fly a drone. Nice. So, so I could use this guy. to. It's, um, I think it's all Bluetooth. Looks like how it's um, sending things. It's got a little USB, and um, but it's a fun way for they're, – they're touting it as um, a way for girls to code. And uh, they're also from the group that did – where did it go? Oh, no. Uh, da, 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 something hack with your daughters. Where did it go? I just lost it on the page. Oh, um, take your daughter to hack, a day-long bi-coastal event that uh, lets parents and daughters and sons create wearable projects using um, different open-source uh, coding. So they also are sponsors of that. So it's just a neat way to, you know, expose kids to coding and um, fun. Like I said, if you can fly a drone with one of these bracelets, I'm totally in. I want one. <laughs> this really does. <laughs> okay. This does, does kind of also lend to uh, what we what we discussed before about, uh, you know, kind of uh, creating wearables that are kind of uh, more uh, that fit in like as jewelry. Mm-hmm. Like we talked about the mm-hmm. leaf a few weeks ago that was really kind of targeted at women, uh, uh very specifically. Uh, so, so what do you, what do you think about, I don't know if you saw our leaf, uh, discussion from a couple of weeks ago in this, what do you think about like that kind of move to kind of fit in a little more and be a more okay visual for, for, for especially women to wear? I, I like it. I think it's, I mean, it's, I, I would not, and people, I, I don't like when people were like, Oh, um, I don't want things too girly because that means that uh, I'm show. You know, you can't. It, you kind of walk this fine line of being a girl and being too girly. Like the people look down on being too girly, which I think is absolutely ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Everybody is entitled to be who they want, and people really like the customized jewelry. They like to blend in, uh, especially the wearables. What a lot of people don't like Fitbits because it's like you have a chunky bracelet on your wrist, and some people don't mind. I mean, I wore one for a while. But um, I think just the way it's becoming more customized and you're seeing more wearables working into the wardrobes now and, and being much better looking, I, I think it's it's a great new target market. And you know what? If it's what people want, sell it. Awesome. Awesome. Mm-hmm. And finally, uh, oh, wait, 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 go check that out. Yeah, look that up on uh, Kickstarter. Uh, how, how much do they have left? Uh, no, I think they were where to go. They're Ooh. over. They're, they're, they had 30000 yeah. and they were in the 70000s and they have 23 days to go. So they're going to hit about 80,000 here in wow. any day now. Good, good. I mean, it, it <laughs> shows there's a hell of a market for these kinds of things. And oh, I, I love I love the whole expo- exposing uh, kids to coding so young. I'm so jealous. It's mm-hmm. not fair. <laughs> Why didn't we have this kind of stuff? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, I, I mean, I, I remember all I, we had was like a C-plus class as an option, right? And it, it just wasn't attractive, like even if you were really into, like kind of into coding, right? Mm-hmm. So... Um,